Hi guys, Smokey is missing. On New Year's Day at around 5 p.m. I'm in Fountain Valley, California. I was outside and passed by her aviary and I noticed that one of her perches fell and it was on the ground. I went inside the aviary and um, I made the mistake. Normally I would close the door immediately behind me, um, but I figured that this would be you know, a really quick fix. I went in, I picked up the perch, and as I did that, um, she spooked and she flew, and she flew off. She did circle above um, once, and um, the next time that I saw her, she was really high up. And so um, it was 5 p.m., it was getting dark. I went out, I um, immediately went out, I start, started calling her name, I searched for her. Um, I was unsuccessful that night. It's now been three weeks. And um, believe me, I've done everything that I could possibly think of, everything that you know um, I can do. I've um, searched for her on foot, calling out her name. I posted flyers um, in neighboring areas. I've um, advertised this on social media, um, reached out to several Facebook groups, um, nearby vets, animal shelters, um, and yet I, I still have not located her. I'm asking for your help. So if you guys um, live in Orange County, um, I suspect that at this point, um, there is, it, it's very unlikely that she is still in the wild. Um, I cling on to the hope that she has been found by somebody. Um, I think it's very likely that when she is, uh, when she's flown away, that she's going to seek somebody to land on or she's going to land near somebody and so my hope is that she's found somebody and there's a family that has her right now who um, just doesn't know that Smokey has a family that loves her and a family that misses her and that we want her home and so if you guys live in Orange County in Fountain Valley um, in Santa Ana in Huntington Beach, Westminster, Garden Grove, um, and even, I think she could even possibly have flown um, all the way to Anaheim or Costa Mesa. If you guys are in Orange County, I would really appreciate it if you guys could share the flyer that I am um, posting in the description right below this video. Um, if you guys also notice that your neighbor all of a sudden just has a parrot that looks like Smokey. Um, if you guys have been hearing, you know, some odd noises in their backyard and you guys have, who have been watching my videos, you guys are familiar with those um, calls that Smokey makes. She makes beeping noises. She makes um, car alarm noises. She makes um, a sound that sounds like a really big truck backing up, like a beep, beep, beep. Um, so a lot of beeping noises, a lot of whistles. Um, she also imitates crows and one of the things that she does that is kind of unique to Smokey is that she won't imitate just one crow. Um, she'll imitate like a whole flock of crows. So if, you, if, it, hear, if it sounds like um, all of a sudden you hear like a whole flock of crows in your neighbor's backyard and it's happening consistently, whereas it's never happened before, um, please keep an eye and ear out for that. She also meows like a cat, barks like a dog. Um, she says, hi Smokey, she'll say Smokey, she'll say hi bird, um, but I, I think it's very unlikely that she's going to talk without me being there. So I think it's more likely that she'll make noises um, like the ones that I described. If you guys do hear that, um, I would really appreciate if you guys can just talk to your neighbors um, and let them know that, you know, you've been hearing these noises and um, you know somebody who's missing a bird that's flown away and they've had this bird. I've had her for 14 years. Um, I hand fed Smokey when she was only five weeks old and she's been in our family for over 14 years. My daughter has just turned one and um, she loves Smokey. Um, she, one of the things that she really looks forward to every single day is going out um, and feeding Smokey every morning. And even when she was sick and she wouldn't get up for anything else, um, where she would just lay in her mom's um, lap all day, the only thing that got her up was when I said, do you want to go feed the bird? 
and she got right up and um, she knows where I keep Smokey's treats. She'll wait there and um, she'll wait until I give her an almond or a peanut. Then she, she knows the routine and it's become so routine that it's almost a ritual for her. Um, she misses her bird. If you guys are in Orange County, like I said, I would really appreciate it if you guys can share the flyer that's in the description. If you guys can also keep an eye and an ear out and let your neighbors know, especially if you guys have been hearing um, odd noises like the ones that I've described. To those of you who have been following me on Instagram, I've received hundreds of messages of support and um, really of hope. I've received messages from people all over the world, um, not just in this country, but from all over the world in different parts of the world. And um, you guys have shared how my videos have helped you with your bird and how it's inspired you. I'm still getting messages from you guys um, and you guys are not giving up on Smokey. And so it really um, it inspires me to also not lose hope. So thank you for that. Thank you for um, all of your support. Um, this is a difficult time as you guys can imagine. But um, the support that you guys have given me has made this at least a little bit easier. So again, thank you.